This is Stella 25 from Izaba. It's a very important monument. It dates to about 200 BC, and it depicts an episode from the known Popovu creation myth. Now, the Popovu creation myth was recorded in the 16th century, after the time of the conquest, in Guatemala by the Quiche Maya leaders. And this carving depicts an episode. We see Hunapu with his arm torn off. We see little blood curls here. And here's Seven Maka, the bird deity in the tree, and he's holding Hunapu's arm. So that is an episode from the Popol Vuh. It's very interesting. We have right here in this third century BC monument a, a span of some 1800 years of history of this story from the creation. Stila 25 is very interesting for a number of reasons. One is the astronomy that it encodes. We have here an episode from the Popol Vuh creation that Seven Macaw is the bird deity in the tree. Seven Macaw is the Big Dipper. And at Azampa, the Big Dipper rises over Takanal Volcano to the north. Here we have the Cayman on the left, and the Cayman represents the Milky Way. And at the bottom of the Cayman, we see its head. And the head represents that part of the Milky Way that contains the dark rift in the Milky Way. That is the road to the underworld, the Shabalba Bay. The entire head of the Cayman is like the uh, nuclear bulge of the galactic center. So we actually have like a, a, a polar sort of cosmology being depicted in this monument with the galactic center at the bottom and the polar center at the top. Here we see two carvings from Izapa. They're somewhat unique because they're abstract. Here we have what looks to be a phallic breech cloth that would be worn by men. So it's symbolic of the male principle. And here we have the uh, circular diadem ornament and the belt that is worn by women on their dresses. So this represents the sort of abstract female principle. And both of these monuments were found side by side in uh, Group E. So we know that at Azamba there was a very sophisticated metaphor making uh, and a symbolic process going on at the site. 